PTR, I'm going to start with you on this. Uh, and uh, let's look at the first D, and that is democracy. And India prides itself as the world's largest democracy, and uh, Arun talked about it in his, in his opening speech this morning, uh, that uh, we have overtaken China as the most populous country in the world as well. And yet, even as we speak about it, there is a raging debate in parliament, uh, with Rahul Gandhi being censured by the ruling BJP for his critical remarks about Indian democracy when he, he went to the UK recently. Just yesterday, he said that whether I'm allowed to speak or shut up is a test of India's democracy. So, Finance Minister, how do you look, look upon India's democracy? Is it a democracy on the ascent, as the ruling BJP and many others would like to classify it? Or is it on the descent, as Rahul Gandhi and others describe it, some even calling it an electoral uh, autocracy? Yeah, for me, I think democracy is at the heart of everything, right? I mean, if we go back, and I don't want to sound partisan, so I'm going to talk more philosophically. I'm happy to become partisan if you ask me the right question. But right now, I'll say, I think it is now beyond doubt that democracies where you have strong, independent institutions, where there is a vibrant opposition, where there is accountability, this kind of a democracy, high rates of growth, and good social progress go together. I think that's beyond doubt. There used to be a question, does economic activity drive institutional kind of superiority or the other way around. I think right now we know it's not a chicken and egg problem. The more you have robust independent institutions, the more you have a vibrant opposition, the more there's accountability, the more likely that you are to get not just a better society, but also a better economy, faster rates of growth. From that perspective, I would have to say that it's not a subjective opinion on almost any scale anywhere in the world that our democracy has not been progressing in the last few years, probably regressing. Independence, are be I mean, institutions are becoming less independent, more uh, kind of aligned with the central axis of power. So I don't want to get into in in instances, but broadly I would say that the quality of our democracy leaves a lot to be desired and is going in the wrong direction. But let's also get you on what you so-called partisan, but let's see, let's see your views on Rahul Gandhi and what he said, and should, should he be censured by the BJP on this? So look, I don't think any party gets the right to censure, right? Either the speaker censures, and usually that's for things that are said in the House. What is said outside the House should be kept outside the House. If you exceed the parliamentary code inside the House, the speaker has the right to make a censure. You cannot take comments made by somebody outside the House, bring that into the House and start making an issue of it, unless you list it as a debate and get everybody to speak. Just because you have a majority, you cannot decide what is an acceptable subject and not an acceptable subject to be debated in the people's house, right? There has to be some norm. And, and what is your personal views about uh, Rahul Gandhi and what he said? Do you think uh, they were defamatory of the country? I, I will restrict myself. Democracy. If it is a democracy, there should be equal opportunity in the house, and the censure or lack of censure should be for things that are said in the house. Why should I opine on anybody else's private statement outside the house? Every citizen is entitled to that. That's not subject for political debate, right? At least not in the house, outside maybe. But you didn't say, do you agree with him or not? I, it is not my job to have an opinion of what he said. I'm telling you the quality of our democracy is deteriorating, and that's unilateral in most assessments. This particular instance, I don't see it's my job to comment. It's not my day job as a minister, right? 